Are we live? The, the frame rate is stable for the moment. So... I don't know, I apologize as all that suck being there, but... How's it feel to be silenced by the US government? Honestly, very, very nice. Glad that I'm getting the attention I rightfully deserve. Anyways... <laughs> oh no, that was the rare shoot! Alright. Well, it's ruined. Anyways, the horsey... You got reverse for a while. And then we got Age of Slash for the rare, which I do like Age of Slash, but... But yeah. And I picked him up and then it just slid out between my fingers. It went right between my fingers. But nice Age of Slash. Whoop! Man, it's fine. Okay. So now, we I guess we need to speedrun these packs before I start dropping frames again. So, going to rip into the first celebration pack. And hope that the luck from our, our main man or dude, um, Stress Ball Stress Man, was, was saved for these packs. Because I think the only thing that we got that was good out of those five packs was the Ampharos V. Which, again, do appreciate. But could have been better. Could have been a little better. Alright, starting off our first celebration pack with a Cosmoum. Dropping frames. Awesome. Ugh. Going into Cosmog. Into Kyogre. And finally, for the first pack, we have a Fat Pikachu. Plossic. Plossic. Fat Pikachu. Not a terrible first pack to open. Get on into the next one. We have up, oh, up. Oh, we have a Zekrom going into Ho. -Oh. Behind Ho, -Oh, we have a Blastoise. <laughs> Would have been really nice to get like Venusaur or you know Charizard. But, you know, I'll take it. Another one of the classics. Very, very, very much a pog. Pogging in the streets, but it is a dupe for me. Classic card, nonetheless. And behind that, we have a... Flying Pikachu. Another one. A pretty good pack. Um, uh, sort of similar, I guess, to the first pack. Literally the first pack of, um, what was it? Celebrations I opened on stream. It was like, I got a Pikachu V. I think maybe it was, uh, maybe it was like Flying Pikachu V Max. And then I got, um, Dark Gyarados. So yeah. Giving you good luck. Well, I, I hope so. <laughs> Don't know what showering has to do with it, but I'll, I'll take your word for it. All right, next pack. Going into Reshiram. Zekrom. Behind Zekrom we have a... <laughs> Zekrom hiding himself. His, his glittery, glorious self. Would you look at that? Now, yeah, now, now that's a pog. Now that is a frickin' Poogers. Told you good luck. Well, let's see if we have more good luck behind this Zekrom, as it is a... Flying Pikachu VMAX. Definitely more good luck. Definitely more good luck. Gotta love it.
right? Put that right there. And sleeve up this Zekrom lad. So now we have Reshrom and Zekrom. Very nice. Doing a good luck shower boom. Yeah, I don't want to think about that, but I do appreciate the good luck. All right, next pack. Again, gotta go rapid fire before stream decides to die again. Come on, come on. What does back show? First up, we have Kyogre, Gen 3 goodness. We have Xerneas. You disgust me, Noah. Line Xerneas, we have a Cosmo. And behind Cosmo, we have a Sogolian. Bad pack. But you can't have a good pack every time. God knows I have actually been getting like pretty decent luck so far. I think we've got six packs left. Yes, we do. And chat, if you are worried about this being the last celebrations opening, well, you be wrong. Um, probably the last celebrations opening will be next month. Uh, we'll probably get ten of our regular Yu-Gi-Oh packs that, again, I've been kind of sitting on for a while, and then. I have a uh, collector's chest to open, and then I should have, in the next day or two, the Dragapult V box. So, even if we don't get Shining uh, Golden Mew here, it's, it's not the end of the world. Not yet, at least. <laughs> so, here we go. Uh, Kyogre. Going into a Xerneas. Behind Xerneas, we have a Groudon, which I still appreciate. And behind that Groudon, we have a glorious Fat Pikachu, once again, Mr. Classic. Good dad to the dad. Alright, five more packs shots. We are on the, da the downward slope. Hold your stream. Or, well, I guess the second stream, since the first stream decided to die. But you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. Flip it in. And we start with a Cosmo. Zuna Eye is on a definite. Oh. Yeah, definitely a. Odd and very unfortunate <clears throat> thing of news. Anyways, yikes. Moving on to Cosmo. Got Groudon. Fine, Groudon. We have a Cliffa. We got this small dude last time. Nice classic card. We do appreciate you dropping more frames. <laughs> I think this is probably a real frame drop. <laughs> Actual frame drop, ah, yeah. <sighs> Why must you do this to me? I have like Johnny, I'm just opening cardboard. <laughs> Just looking for shiny cardboard, man. Just let me finish it up, please. Just don't close. Bring back the frames. Please. Bro, and my internet is fine right now. I have like full bars. Just don't know what's going on. Is it really not going to come back? Holy cow. It's been like probably an entire minute now.
It's debating me. It's like it's coming back and then it's dipping down again. <laughs> okay, I think we might be back. Alright, so Cleffa, fine Cleffa, we have a five Pikachu V. Again, we're we're gonna try and get through these pretty quick. Still smooth. Yeah, I, I think we're um I think we're good now. Flying PGV. Got our six back to open. What that there? Flipper over, we got a Palkia. Behind that Palkia, we have a Dioga. Behind that Dioga, we have a Cosmon. And behind that Cosmon, we have a Solgaleo. Wow. Alright, bad pack. Just able to rip through that one quick like a band-aid. Gotta be honest, like, maybe it was just me, but the the Pikachu VMAX box definitely had more cards that were, like, I guess rare in it than the ETB would, and you'd figure the ETB would be the better option I go for there, but. Starting off the 8th pack with Dialga. Going into Palkia. From Palkia into a Reshiram. Part of me was actually kind of shaking there because I was like, wait, this could be Charizard. <laughs> if it's in the third slot and it's red, gotta be uh, gotta be a little cautious. And behind Rush Ram, we have a Professor's Research. One of the better rares you can get, but still not what we're looking for. Next to last pack. Uh, jumping frames again. I'll go ahead and show the first card, starting with a Lugia. Yeah, I think these are real frame drops again. Uh, I'm so close, dude. Let me finish. Let me finish. Thank you. I think it's back for the moment. We have Lugia. Do we have Ho-Oh? Dang it. I, you... Dang. You could have stuck around a little bit longer. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, you were so close. Come back. Uh, struggling with frames. Uh, we're good? I don't know if we're good. Well, behind ho -Oh is a Dark Gyarados. It is a classic card, but I do have a couple of these already. So, again, not, not super pog for me, but definitely good. And behind that, we have a Soda Lamp. All right. Okay, I think we're back for literally the last pack. Also, I was saying I don't think there was anything, but like I'm almost hearing thunder now. So, maybe maybe that's what it's been all along. I don't know. Anyway, the last pack magic. I'm just going to have to get through it. Get get your get your pog fishes ready in the chat for for a huge pull that will guaranteed happen on this thing. Not actually, but Got Xerneas for the first card. Cosmog, Nebby getting that heckin' bag for the second card. We have a... Ooh, okay, all right. Decent card to end on. At least a classic question. I mean, there could be something behind it. But Xerneas EX for the classic collection. And... For our final card of the night, we have a 
Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for coming by tonight. I appreciate it. I hate that, uh, you know, we had the, the dropped frames, but, uh, you know, we got some good pulls tonight. We'll do a little recap, try and make it quick. Here is the sleeved Xerneas EX. Yeah, rip to the believers. Rip to the believers. Okay, so for Pokemans tonight, we had uh, quite a few, quite a few decent pulls. Uh, these are definitely out of order, but starting off with the Charizard V, which apparently is worth money. It's ridiculous. Yellow, no, I am not doing hand stretches. We're trying to, we're trying to rush this because I've, I've been having terrible internet. Um, we just got Dark Gyarados. Uh, and then by that, we uh, had a Xerneas EX. I will also give those points back to you, by the way. Uh, we have Flying Pikachu. Got Cleffa with the Classic Collection. Got another Pikachu. We pulled Zekrom, which is definitely another pretty big hit for Classic Collection. Flying Pikachu V Max. Flying Pikachu V. Blastoise, another decent one. Wish it, wish it was Venusaur or, of course, Charizard just for the Mindies. Um, well, actually, more so for the collection, but still all right. Got, uh, Ye Olden Pikachu once again. We have Ampharos. We got, or we have Ampharos V. That was from, um, Vivid Voltage. Got Birthday Pikachu. Incredibly cute. Very glad I got it. We have Zacian V. We have Mew EX. We have a Professor's Research. Full art. We have another Professor's Research. Full art. We have Flying Pikachu V, and then we have um, uh, Team Magma's Grabon. So definitely some really good stuff tonight. Of course, we also have our promos that uh, we got right over here. Uh, of course, we got our Greninja star again, so shiny Greninja. We got Pikachu V and Pikachu V Max. From the uh, V Max Pikachu box, and then we had the four uh, Pikachu V Union cards. You're very nice, and of course, you know we also have the big card itself right over there. And then other than that, um, did I make a stack for the rares we got in Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, okay, I did. Um, I'll just pick out, well, for Yu-Gi-Oh tonight, I'd say probably the best cards we got from the openings was, uh, True Light. Very good card for the Blue Eyes. Cross Sheep. Just an overall really solid Link 2 card. It's pretty sought out. Uh, we have... Um, well, I mean, this card is just cool. Luminous Lunar Dragon, ridiculously cool-looking hollow. Um, Tri Brigade. And then Ice Dragon's Prism. I'd say those were probably like the biggest uh, pulls we got tonight out of Yu-Gi-Oh. Besides the ones that I was just kind of, you know, I wanted because I am either adding them to a deck or I am just excited for them. We got a heck, a heck of a lot of Melfi cards too. And, you know, Chow's pogging over those. So thank you guys. I very much appreciate it. So this will be the only TCG stream that I will be doing for the month. Uh, I hope. Oh my God, we're dropping frames here. Okay. I'm just going to try and finish this up. Um, it's not a bad time for me. Yes, have a good night. I'm going to wrap up anyways. We're, we're not going to do anything else. Um, but yes, appreciate you guys for coming by. This was really fun, but of course we will be waiting until next month to be doing more Pokemon card openings or well, just TCG openings in general. Uh, next month it'll probably be more celebrations and probably the last thing of celebrations that I will buy. And then, um, we'll be getting into some singles packs that I have for Yu-Gi-Oh that I bought not too long ago. That was uh, actually from Mr. Fire Dragon on his store before he ended up closing up for the night. Um, God. 
Yeah, we're definitely dropping frames here. I'm so sorry that the fi finale of the stream is absolute garbage, but if you can hear me, I still appreciate you for coming by. Let me see if I can rush through my special thank yous. Uh, first off, we have one bit from Yotes Guys, 100 bits from Yotes Guys, one bit from Kimberly, aka Tin Cakes, one bit from Empress XYZ, and yet another bit from Empress XYZ. Although that one wasn't attacking me, I really don't appreciate it. So, it, but I guess it is what it is. Um, okay, maybe frames return. Uh, of course, to everybody who came out tonight, which we had a freaking heck of a lot of people. Uh, thank you to Josh for coming by. Thank you to Michael for coming by. Thank you to Kimberly for coming by. Thank you to Audrey for coming by. Thank you to Yellow for coming by. Thank you to Chris for coming by. Thank you to Morton for coming by. Thank you to Tony for coming by. Thank you to Resident for coming by. Uh, thank you to Noah for coming by. But ba 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 ba. Uh, thank you to, um, the cop will come by. I don't remember. <laughs> I genuinely don't. Um, oh, well, thank you. Thank you to Taylor Kaler for coming by. Of course. Um, thank you yellow for coming by. I don't think I said yellow. Um, which again, I will refund those points, Yellow. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to wrap things up. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anybody else, but I think that probably wraps up. I mean, thank you again to Empress for coming by, even though you had to. Peace out. So appreciate you, you giving your support. Um, and that, I think that's it, maybe. <laughs> well, as per usual, if I forgot you, I very much apologize. I still hope you enjoyed the stream. If you were lurking, hopefully you enjoyed the lurk. And of course, I hope you're having a fantastic night or day, wherever you may be. I will not be rating anybody tonight. I hope you guys get some good rest. And if you don't, enjoy the rest of your Saturday weekend. Um, and I will not be streaming Monday, so schedule will be a little bit different. Uh, I will be streaming on Tuesday and Wednesday this week. Tuesday we'll probably get back to Earthbound and hopefully finish it up um, since we're pretty close to the end of the game. And so, yeah, that's the next time you can see me. If you want any notifications, stuff like that, uh, exclamation point Discord. You can join that. You can say hi to me. But basically, about the most you do uh, it's used for is memes and... Uh, being notified for when stream goes live. So, but if you want to be a part of the community, feel free to join that. And uh, yeah, until I see you guys next time, I appreciate you for coming by. And uh, I guess see you on Tuesday. Until then, bye bye.